Hi guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to calibrate a VGT actuator on a Cummins ISX. So we wanna have that actuator off the turbo and we wanna connect it to our pigtail. And the actuator has to be off. So once we have that, we're gonna go over, get our scanner connected to the truck, key on, and we're gonna to go to Cummings Insight Program. So once we have that, we want to go over to the left upper right hand left hand corner, sorry, connect to ECM. On the next screen, we want to hit connect. And this is a very easy procedure, guys, very easy. If you have this laptop and this program and you're mechanically inclined, very easy. So next up, we're going to ECM diagnostic test. We're going to hit VGT actuator cal installation and calibration. And once we go to the next screen, we're going to follow the instructions. On the left side here in the pull down bar, we're going to go to install actuator. This is the first procedure that has to be done with the actuator off. Once we have that, you're going to click start and it should give you either a red or a green stripe which means pass or fail. So we passed. Now we can go ahead and install our actuator on the turbo. And always make sure that your surface is clean, your gasket is lined up before you install. And always make sure that the gear on the turbo itself is all the way to the right i did not demonstrate in the video but it has to be all the way to your right hand side and also if you're just uh, checking your actuator um if that lever that gear lever on the turbo does not move back and forth then the problem is the turbo the turbo gear lever is getting stuck So always make sure you are able to move that lever back and forth. And remember before installation, it has to be moved all the way to the right. So there we go. I set my actuator down and I'm only gonna put two bolts on it for now. Uh, one on each corner. I'm gonna just tighten those down a little bit so I can go ahead and uh, finish calibrating this actuator. So we got it all tight. So we're gonna go back to the screen. We're gonna go now to calibrate actuator. And it's the same steps. If we get a green, we pass. So we go to start, click OK. And we pass. So now uh, that being said and everything done, we can go back to our actuator and install the other two bolts. And you don't have to torque these down or anything. I'm sure they have some torque spec, but I just tighten them with my electric ratchet. And I give them a little tug with a, with a hand ratchet just, just to make sure they're tight. And that is a full procedure, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, see you next time.